Why does the pencil look bent or broken in water? The pencil isn't broken, but where water and air meet, it appears to be broken. Why is this so? This phenomenon occurs due to a property of light known as refraction. Refraction is the bending of light as it passes from one transparent medium into another. So why does this happen? Let's take a closer look. Let's represent the rays of light through these lines. Light travels at almost 300,000 km per second in air. But it slows down when it enters a different transparent substance or medium like water. The medium in which light travels faster is known as a rare medium, whereas the medium in which light travels slower is a dense medium. Air is a rare medium, while water and glass are dense. When a ray of light meets the surface of water at an angle, it bends from its original path. Since water is a dense medium, it slows down the speed of light, resulting in the bending of light rays. Thus, during refraction, both the speed and the direction of a ray of light change. In other words, when light passes from a rare to a dense medium, it slows down and bends due to this difference in speed. Going back to our example of the pencil, when the light rays coming from the tip of the pencil pass from water to air, they change their direction, that is, they refract. When these refracted rays reach our eyes, our eyes trace them back as straight lines. Due to this, the rays appear to come from a point slightly above the actual position. Hence, the pencil appears to bend in water. Let's learn some important terms related to the refraction of light. A ray of light that travels from one medium and falls on the surface of a second medium is known as an incident ray. The ray of light that changes its direction in the second medium is called a refracted ray. The point at which the incident ray falls on the surface of a medium is called the point of incidence. If we draw an imaginary perpendicular line on the surface, we call this a normal line or just normal. A light ray that comes out from or leaves a medium is called an emergent ray. The angle between the normal and the incident ray is the angle of incidence. It is denoted by the letter I. The angle between the normal and the refracted ray is called the angle of refraction, which is denoted by R. Observe that both angles are measured from the normal. When light passes from a rare medium like air to a dense medium like glass, it bends towards the normal at the point of incidence. In this case, angle of incidence is larger than the angle of refractions. This process reverses when light enters from a dense medium like glass to a rare medium like air. The refracted ray moves away from the normal at the point of incidence. So, we get a larger angle of refraction. Can refraction occur if light enters perpendicular or normally to the surface? When a ray of light falls normally on the surface of a second medium, it passes straight through without any refraction. The extent to which a ray of light bends depends on the density of the material. If a material is dense, a ray of light entering it from a rare medium bends more towards the normal. For example, light entering a diamond from the air bends more than light entering glass. Moving on, let's study the laws of refraction. There are two laws of refraction. 1. 
the incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. For example, here, since the incident ray lies on the paper, the refracted ray must also lie on the paper. It cannot point into or out of the paper. 2. The ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum to its speed in another medium is always constant. This ratio is known as the refractive index of the material. In other words, the ability of a substance to refract or bend light is called its refractive index. It is denoted by the letter N. Now, let's find the refractive index of a glass where the speed of light through it is 2 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second. First, write the formula of the refractive index as the ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum to the speed of light in a glass. Since the speed of light in air is almost equal to the speed of light in the vacuum, we replace the values of the speed of light in a vacuum with the speed of light in air. This is equal to 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second. By putting values in the formula and after calculations, we get 1.5 as the refractive index of glass. It has no unit as it is a ratio. In this video, we learnt about the refraction of light. When light enters from one medium to another, it bends slightly from its original path. This bending of light is called refraction. The ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum to its speed in another medium is called the refractive index, which is constant for both materials. It is represented by the letter N.